All right. So we got a next comic coming up. Very young, talented young man. He does uh, parties on the weekend. He's a character actor. He dressed up as Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. <laughs> Here's your next comedian, Marcus Johnson. Oh. 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 Go, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. How you doing, bud? Go, Marcus. Yeah. Hey, Do you love me? So, yeah. so, okay, so um, I was going to talk to you guys about so much going on every day. I'm envious of props, issues, situations. Um, so, where do I start? I don't even know. Tell jokes and stuff. Oh, right, right. God, I'm ready to be with it. Um, it's free barbecue outside. The vision put together for everybody. My hamburger, hot dogs. It's got a barbecue coming out there for everybody. If you're broke, poor, you don't care about dollar menu. Your situation is like mine. You're really going to struggle. Free hot dogs, so that's good. I gotta get money, people. I gotta get money. That's what it's come down to. I need the money. So I get myself a Chevy, or a Ferrari, or an Audi TT, or maybe a Lamborghini. I get a girl with big titties, with the PT body, eat fettuccine, live lazy, you know, that poverty. Hallelujah. Gotta get money, gotta get money. Gotta get the money. Gotta get the good job. Only a job today. Searching. Couldn't find nowhere to the job. I said I didn't find them. I found a lot of karate stores. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many karate stores going around. Everywhere you go. And the thing that gets me messed up is that I have never once in my life seen a karate fight. Right? You never know where you ain't never been to the grocery store. We some mat tails, we some mat tails. Hey, I'm fucking my mat tails. Right now, nobody is boom to roundhouse my ass. <laughs> Nowhere. Ain't that some shit? I, I don't know where to buy a gun. If someone wants to get a gun right now, I don't know where to go. You find nunchucks on every corner. Who the last time I got nunchucks to death? That don't happen, Tommy. You ain't never read the news day. I mean, nunchucks to death is even more. Look at nunchucks. Get shot. It's dangerous. Look what shocking every day. Look what you have. Marsh, 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 be a police officer. You're selling me to ma. I don't want to be a cop, ma. You know why? Because cops get shot. I'm gonna be a cop. Well, I'm gonna be a rapper. <laughs> At least then I can white women. Right? That's good. I can white women. I can get money. I can get money. Oh my god. It looks good. Man. It looks good. Hey, good. Shh, what? <laughs> That'd be nice. Be a rapper. Yeah. With all the Hennessy I want. It's like, it's like, like when you become a rapper, you get like a free subscription, a free thing of all the Hennessy you want. You just like unsupplied nigga juice. A limited supply nigga juice. Okay, that was inappropriate. I apologize. But you smile. <laughs> so, um, that's I'm thinking. But I can't. If I can't find a good job, I probably try to get a venture. A venture make good money. Already. But everything cool been invented already. Everything cool. Anybody here the most important venture of all time is you know? No, it's the wheel. Most people believe the wheel is the most important venture of all time. Except for blind people, that's because they don't drive. <laughs> Who get the crap out blind people? You know blind people? They'll that stick that folds out. They love that. That's like, oh my god, that really goes. Stick that go. <laughs> That's the shit right there, man. The wheel. There's no wheels, it'd be hard times, right? No, you think about wheels. You have any idea how many overweight gerbils they would be if there were no wheels? Huh? What do gerbils do all day if they eat all the doo doo? <laughs> there's no wheel, they'd be fat, overweight, high blood pressure. <laughs> what if Pat say Jack be if there was no wheel? <laughs> what do you think about it? Pat wouldn't say Jack going for the wheel. <laughs> Pat going to do it. No wheel, nothing. Wheel. I didn't miss something. I didn't miss something. Give me a good girl. I didn't find out what it is. Like I said, women, the gay girls. Because I'm in the drive. I'm in the half ass season. I really I thought it was just because of the summertime. I was like, yeah, sure. shut up. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was the summertime that they saw that it got out by thing. You and your hand. That's I thought the reason why I had a hard time. I'm just finding out it's not that because that's all gone and still can't no girls. Still. Still. Nothing. I'm going to lay you by state girls getting in bed. Like, like, you know, um, <laughs> I'm not attracted to something. I got to buy you a drink. Talk to you. Why do I pay for conversation for it? You woke up morning, brush your teeth. I don't want to brush my teeth. You put clothes on, I put clothes on. You wash your ass, I wash my ass. I got to pay to talk to you. What? Did I? Bullshit. Not pay conversation. Hard times. Can't find some good girl. I had one. If you got somebody like yourself, they promise you I'm gonna put all on that. If you got someone, stick with them, man. Stick with them. You don't be single out here. It's hard. Turn it down. Every night, I'm alone. Not hard to be alone. Man. Every night, just be Maxwell. That's it, man. Cry together. 
and you say, well, this is people. Too distracted, be crying at home. But who would let me? What happened? Had a good girl, did take care of her, she left me. To a Nigerian! <laughs> you believe that? Well, who would let me go to Nigeria? I can't be with Nigerians. Okay? That's a real black man. I can't be with people. I said, guaranteed, they get juice. Guaranteed. Can't, keep, can't, can't do nothing with that. How can I keep up with that? You know what I'm saying? Nigerian make love like DMX in belly. You know what I'm saying? I can't. 125 pounds. All I got is hip action. And so I got this. So I can do. I don't, all, I don't even know what to do with this upper body. Can't keep up with a Nigerian man. Horrible. So I'm alone, crying every night, wishing I had somebody. I don't want to end up 40 and single. Because I see 40 and single in the club all the time. All the time. You see 40 and single in the club? Not sexy. It's a guy in the club, you know, he's doing that little dance. How you doing in a minute? How you doing in a minute? Ah, how you doing? I should be dead. Horrible. Horrible. If you're 40 years old and single, one thing is clear. You are the problem. You had 40 years to find somebody to like you. That's more time than Moses was in the desert. Okay? Moses in the desert found some of a beard, found food to eat, and a walking stick. You yeah, have any idea how hard it is to find a walking stick in the desert? It's not but sand, baby. Can't find no one to hold your hand? I'm going to be alone for a long time. I can feel it. It's going to be sad. Oh, I'm going to be alone. Hurts my heart, too. I see people like y'all, y'all look happy. That makes me sad. Like, Damn, you got somebody. Why well, I can't have somebody? Want a little something like the whole. You know what's messed up? Is when you fall in love, and you know, I don't tell you how you know you're in love. I knew I was in love. Sorry, exactly how I knew I was in love. Because the person I was in love with, I mean, the person I was with wasn't even attractive. When you date somebody ugly, you know you're in love. <laughs> she wasn't even hot. She looks she like a body, like a, like a cereal box. <laughs> she thinks like SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> with breasts. She, yeah, like breasts. She lost a lot of weight, so her breasts was like just like, you know? She wasn't even hot, and I was with her, but I loved her for who she was inside. That's what it was about, but that's how you know, man. It's horrible out here, Tina. Wish I had, so you, you, wish I had somebody, even a little, a little buddy, you know what I'm saying? Even that, that'd be cool. I mean, my buddy, my buddy, buddy and me. If I had a gap to hold. <laughs> That's a 50 cent reference for some of y'all. Um, so, I'm gonna get up out of here before I leave. I wanted to let y'all know what I'm doing today. I was telling Lay, I was telling Lay, uh, minding my own business, don't sneeze, laugh. I was, <laughs> I was telling Lay, right? Minding my own business. Watching Roots. Looking for a reason to be angry with white people. <laughs> just wake up in the morning, look for some reason to be mad with white people. I was like, God, I hadn't done that wrong to me since a long time. I go find a reason to get pissed off with you. So I put in roots so I could get my anger up. And I was watching it, and it dawned on me that y'all got a bad rap. Y'all got a bad rap. Some of that shit y'all shouldn't got blamed for. Because really, there was no CSI team, and no forensic investigation, there was no DNA, there was no bloody glove found, to really say that everything they said y'all did, y'all did. You know what I'm saying? So, on behalf of us, on behalf of my team, you know, people I'm affiliated with, I want to bury the hatchet, I want to squash the beef. From this moment on, it's all good, okay? No more beef between you and I. That's why I want you. Yeah, you can pour that if you want to pour that. Yeah. Sensible guy, the very sensible guy, I like him. So, did you laugh, Sin? Sin, did you laugh? No, no, don't do that. Come on, we gotta stick together, girl. Stick together. Did you laugh? You, laugh? you did? Okay, all right. I'll be over there in the corner. Right. Single. I'm by myself. I drive a car. My credit score is 981. I have dyslexia, my credit score is 198. <laughs> and uh, I got 98 degrees CD in my car. So. I'm good. Oh, the mic, oh, God, the devil in the microphone with that. All right, so I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm wasting y'all time. Uh, everybody, Domingo Rebel. Domingo.